For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notifications to receive the updates directly in your device. Hi and welcome to Nehra Classes YouTube channel. My name is Vikas Nehra and this is session 6 of our ongoing Ansible series. In previous sessions, we have already covered up the Ansible introduction, why do we require it, advantages of using Ansible, push based versus pull based architecture, the architecture of Ansible, Ansible terms, working of Ansible, role of Ansible in DevOps, the installation of Ansible in different OS, the Ansible ad hoc commands and the Ansible modules. In this session, we are going to cover up the Ansible playbooks, uh, introduction to YAML and Ansible playbook writing. So without wasting time, let's get started. Ansible playbook. As you know that Ansible uses playbook to describe automation jobs and playbook uses a very simple language that is YAML. An Ansible playbook is a file where users write Ansible code and organized collection of scripts defining the work of a server configuration. They describe a set of steps in a general IT process or a policy for your remote systems to enforce. Playbook is Ansible's configuration, deployment and orchestration language. Playbook consists of one or more plays run in a particular order. Now we will learn how do we use the YAML language to create the playbooks. Before I show you how to write the playbooks, we must know the basics of YAML because Ansible uses YAML to write the playbooks. You can see that in the diagram playbook is there in the blue color which contains multiple plays which are shown in the pink color and there are different tasks that needs to be executed on the node machines which are visible in the yellow color. As you can see that we want to install the HTTPD package there so there we have mentioned it in the task and there may be multiple tasks and each play in the playbook can have different tasks. So playbook is nothing but the collection of the plays with which we want to perform the tasks. Now we will learn the basics of YAML. As I told you earlier Ansible playbooks are written in YAML language. Ansible playbook contains plays which define tasks to be executed on the node machines. Ansible playbooks are human readable and are developed in a basic text language. YAML is human readable. Ansible playbook file extension is .yml. So whenever we want to create a playbook, the extension should be .yml. And the command to run the playbook is ansible-playbook and after that we have to mention the name of the yml file where we have mentioned the tasks. So the syntax is ansible-playbook and after that we will mention the entire path for the yml file. Now I will teach you how to write the playbooks. So there are certain rules which we must know before we start writing the playbooks. Ansible playbooks are written in YAML which means yet another markup language. So the full form of YAML is yet another markup language. So you can see a typical YAML file in the picture in the blue color and there we have plays and the tasks. Every YAML file starts with three dashes and ends with three dots. So you can see that the file is starting with three dashes. So every time when we need to write a playbook, we should start it with three dashes and ideally we should end it with three dots, but that is optional. Every element or member of list should be written in a new line with 
सेम इंडेंटेशन स्टार्टिंग विद हाइफन एंड स्पेस लाइक दिस सो एवरी टाइम वेन यू वॉन्ट टू एड एन एलिमेंट यू शुड स्टार्ट राइटिंग इट इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन स्टार्टिंग विद डैश एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू गिव वन स्पेस देयर वाई ए एम एल यूज इज सिंपल की वैल्यू पेयर टू रिप्रेजेंट डेटा द डिक्शनरी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन की कॉलन एंड देन स्पेस एंड देन यू मैंशन द वैल्यू देयर सो दिस इज अ पेयर की एंड वैल्यू पेयर बट बिटवीन दीज टू यू शुड यूज कॉलन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू मैंशन द स्पेस लाइक दिस so you will write the key name after that you will mention colon then give one space and then you write the value there like this you can also use abbreviations to represent lists like this so you can mention the key after that you can mention colon then give one space and after that you can mention the list in the square brackets separated by the commas in single quotes so this is also possible and you will see a lot of things which we can use in ansible playbooks in the upcoming days in next tutorials now i'm going to show you how to write a playbook on the terminal and i will show you the working of playbook with which we will try to ping the node machines so this is our ansible control machine or the ansible server and if you will go to etc ansible directory and list the contents there you will see the ansible configuration file which is the default configuration file for ansible and you will see the hosts file there i already have made an entry in the hosts file for our nodes and i mentioned them in the group as my group so these are the node machines if you want to make any changes in the configuration of ansible you can simply edit this configuration file here you can define a lot of things so this is the default configuration file for ansible now i will switch in the account of the vikas nara user who has the passwordless authentication on the node machines and on this user account we will create our first ansible playbook with which we will try to ping the node machines so we can create a file by using any editor or you can use the notepad also so i will be using the vi editor to create the first playbook and you can give it any name so let me give the name as ping.yml make sure that the extension is .yml only you can use any name but the extension should be .yml only after that as i told you it will start with three dashes you have to mention three dashes then you have to come in the next line and after that you have to start the member with hyphen so i will give one space and and i will mention hyphen then i will give one more space and i will write their name colon and again i will give one space and after that i can give the name so let me write the name as ping test playbook after that we will go in the next line and we will start writing from the same distance just below the name and we will write their hosts then we will give colon one space and after that we will mention the group name which is my group in our case you can mention any group name here as per the host file where you want to execute the commands or if you want to perform the task on the nodes so you will mention the same group name here then in the next line we will mention tasks and here we can define the tasks so we will go in the next line and here we will give three spaces then we will mention hyphen after that again we will give one space and we will write name colon again we will give one space and here we will mention ping test and after that we will define the command or the module so we will mention here ping colon and after that we will give a space and we will come down and we will close it with three dots so we will mention three dots there and we will save this file after that we will try to ping the node machines 
by using this file. So you can see that the file is created and the name of the file is ping.yml and we are going to use this playbook file to ping the node machines. Now to use it we will have to write there ansible hyphen playbook and after that we have to mention the name that is ping.yml and press enter. So it will show us the status. So you can see that the playbook is running and it is gathering facts, it is performing the ping test and it's done. And you can see that it is showing us the result as successful. That means we are able to ping the node machines by using this playbook. So this was a simple playbook which we created to ping the node machines. In the upcoming tutorials you will learn how to perform the complex operations or tasks on the node machines by using playbooks. So that's it from my side for today's session. Hope you will find this session useful for you. If you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and give a like to this video and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification. I will see you in the next one. Till then bye bye. Jai Hind. Vande Matram. Take care.